Now I'll lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord myself to keep me. If I die, I will be thy name. God thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Who is God? Well, it's invisible person and he lives up in heaven. Who is God? God is somebody who rules the world.
this boy that was hurting me. God is a person who takes care of dead people when they go up to heaven. He tries to make our wishes come true and everything.
sorts out your personal life on your personal hat. In closing, I would like to leave you with something which I'll arrange for you. With the key to life course, the life orientation course, you have the means of giving a being back his life. From there, one can envision the true realization of a new civilization on Earth. Time traveler, like all of us, looks to tomorrow with hope for a better life, a better world. Since time immemorial, we have produced fanciful images about future life. Imagine cities of tomorrow, urban centers, the megalopolis, a vista of towers, traffic, and computer-controlled planning. The spaceport. Looking to the day when space travel is routine. When gleaming, elegant rocket ships carry us smoothly to new worlds.
church must tell the faith that they should learn to live with the need of love, the nuclear bomb, provided that it is clean and of a good family. There was a great earthquake, and the uh, sun came black as sackcloth. And the third, a big earth was burnt off. Third of the trees and all of the green plants, and then from the smoke came locusts on the earth with the power of scorpions.
delicious chicken chasseur, but I'm leaving nothing to chance. I always use cook in the pot to cross the black room. I simply take these ingredients, lick the cook in the pot chasseur seasoning, pour over the chicken, and pop it in the oven. Mmm, a tasty chicken chasseur which my family really loves.
you want devoted followers who leave their families for you, give their money to you, give their bodies to you, give up their lives for you, consider you God, and will kill for you? I love you.
again that I'm here saying exactly the same thing that I said then, trying to say it in today's language, trying to hope that for your sakes you can see what we have to offer you, for our Father offers you life. I'm not talking about human life. A planet is about to be recycled, and we see the planet as a stepping stone. Planet Earth, a stepping stone.
all Americans. For the extent of damage to our country is still uncertain and shall probably remain so for some time. Preliminary reports indicate that principal weapons impact points included military and industrial targets in most sectors of the United States. There is, at the present time, a ceasefire with the Soviet Union, which has sustained damage equally catastrophic. Many of you listening to me today have suffered personal injury, sudden separation from loved ones, and the tragic loss of your families. I share your grief, for I too have suffered personal loss. During this hour of sorrow, I wish to assure you that America has survived this terrible tribulation. There has been no surrender, no retreat from the principles of liberty and democracy for which the free world looks to us for leadership. We remain undaunted before all but Almighty God, the government, functioning under certain extraordinary emergency options, we are prepared to make every effort to coordinate relief and recovery programs at the state and local levels. During the next two weeks, my staff and cabinet will attempt to relocate to National Emergency Reconstruction Headquarters at the present time, and until radiation pattern reports are made available over the emergency broadcast band or through your local authorities, I urge you to remain in areas offering maximum shelter protection from radioactive fallout and to obey all local curfews. We are counting on you, on your strength, your patience, your will, and your courage to help rebuild this great nation of ours. God bless you. Thank you. 